Hey, greetings. This is Sister Ebby from Ebby's Lounge, your birth doula, sister circle facilitator, and life coach. Well, today, I decided to just have a little fun video today. And from now on, I will be doing more regular videos. So the last video, well, I'll do some more weekly videos from now on. But uh, the last video, um, well, I probably had some twists in my hair. And this time, I decided to color my hair. So I'm going to share how I colored my hair. Um, what I use to color my hair, and how I actually became natural. So let's get into some fun stuff before we get into some more serious stuff, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to share. So I used, a couple of months ago, I decided to use the cream of nature, the cream of nature, lightest blonde. Now, of course, it didn't come out, um, it didn't come out the exact color. I didn't come out that blonde, which I was okay with. I just wanted to be blonde. I had blonde in my hair a couple of years ago and decided to that I just want to do it again because I enjoy the color and like the color on me. Um, so I initially, I originally when I colored it uh, a couple of months ago, I did the roots. Um, so the roots was blonde, now it's growing out. I'm not in a rush to color it again yet, but if you are interested in seeing um, my process of, of coloring the hair, when I do decide to do the roots, if you think this is a video you might want to watch, let me know, put in a comment, and I will do a video when I actually decide to color it um, again, color the roots blonde. So, um, so yes, I use Cream of Nature, the lightest blonde, C43, the lightest blonde, and I was, I was pretty happy with the results. Now, I kept it in a little bit longer than usual because I have tried to color my hair before, and it did not come out. The color didn't come out at all. Or you see it was a tint of brown. And I didn't want that. I said, I refuse this time to color my hair and it not come out a color that I felt good with, um, that, I, that, I, that I was pleased with. And um, I kind of like doing things on my own. Um, I just sometimes just like to learn it my way and see if it comes out. Um, so actually it came out. It was really, I was pleased with the color. Um, and my roots was very, very blonde originally when I did it. Now, those of you who want to see, if you want to see the, um, the, the uh, before and after pictures, let me know and I'll put it in the comments. If you are interested in seeing, seeing those pictures or those videos that, um, you know, I'll be happy to upload a video and put the pictures on. Okay, so let me just share with you um, how I became natural. Now, I became natural, um, decided to go natural. I've been natural. I am natural. But I decided to go natural with my hair 10 years ago. About, a, I would say, yeah, around 10 or so years ago, 10 to 11 years ago. And let me tell you how that happened. Well, funny, you know, it's funny that <laughs> I was actually getting my hair done at the beauty, supply, uh, beauty salon, the hair salon. So I had my hair done at the hair salon. Um, I had a wash and set. It was permed, and it looked great. It was flat the way we like it, nice and flat and straight. It looked fabulous. It looked wonderful. It was in July, and by the time I got home, I would say within about forty-five minutes, I looked in the mirror and my hair was puffy. And it was first of all, it, it didn't even look like my hair got done. I was just so frustrated with it. It didn't look like my hair got done. Now, before leaving, it was nice, it's flat and straight the way we liked it, right? And by the time I got home, it was just a big puff. And, I, and to me, I actually felt like I, I just really wasted money that day. And I said, that moment, I said, you know what? I'm not perming my hair anymore because why would I spend all this money? And then within a half an hour, it, it, it didn't even look permed. It didn't, it, the hair didn't even look like it was, I didn't even look like I went to the hairdresser, okay? And so that moment, I said, I'm not perming my hair anymore. I'm done with it. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. And so after a couple of months, I said, okay, let me see what I can do. So at that time, I remember seeing, you know, the natural curly wigs, and I loved how it looked on people. So I said, I'm going to go get me a nice curly wig. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm on my way to going to the beauty supply store to get a curly wig. Something in me came to me and said, you know what? You have curly hair. You don't need to go buy a wig to have curly hair. That was a wonderful epiphany, okay? And I said, you know, I said to myself, I sure do have curly hair. Wait a minute, I don't have to go buy a wig. So I decided that day I went home, you know, you know, I washed my hair and I, 
um, conditioned it and I actually use Vaseline. I know a lot of people may not agree with Vaseline because we have all these different various products that we can use now, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, honey, the Vaseline worked for me. Okay, so um, I know many of you may not agree with it and I don't use Vaseline anymore, but at that time where I really didn't have anybody to uh, talk to at the time about what to do with my hair, um, you know, I um, use Vaseline. And so let me tell you, how, it probably looked curly than what it does look right now. So, um, and that was Vaseline and conditioner. And trust me when I tell you, I got many compliments after that, but let me tell you before that happened, I remember calling my sister. And I told her, I'm not gonna curl my hair anymore. I decided I'm gonna go natural. My sister laughed at me. My twin sister laughed at me and said, it's gonna look like a mess. It's not gonna look right. I can't believe it's gonna go natural. Uh, and she was the hairdo queen, okay? Uh, had the nice long weaves. I mean, this girl know how to hook up her hair. She should have been a hairdresser. But anyway, I decided I wanted to go natural. And, um, you know, and I decided to stick with my gut. You know, she laughed at it, but you know what? I, for me, that's what I wanted to do for myself. And I decided to go natural and I decided to do it my way. And I use, you know, I wash my hair, your conditioner. Um, and I've always washed, I always, always liked washing my hair all the time, but I didn't, I didn't leave it out. I didn't leave my natural, my naturalness, my natural hair out where others can see. And I conditioned it and used the Vaseline. And, and it was nice and curly at the time it was black and it was nice and full and curly and it looked good. Um, matter of fact, I got a lot of compliments on it. And um, so that's how it became natural. And, you know, funny as it is, my sister a couple of years ago decided now, you know, decided that she went, was going to go natural. She went natural, became very um, passionate about finding natural hair products. Um, so she's all into the natural hair products. Um, I use different products and some products I, you know, I've used a lot of body today and um, I use shea butter, uh, shea, this time I use shea moisture. Um, I'll use the shea butter to twist it. Um, so I have not, there's not, no one specific product that I do use. If anything, the leave-in condition is fine for me, personally. And I am open to learning, uh, finding different other products, but I'm, I'm pretty pleased with what I do do. Um, but my sister, she's uh, very passionate about certain products and that she's always trying different things. And she's also <laughs> funny how people will laugh at you and then later on try it, right? So go with what works for you. Follow your gut, follow your heart, follow what works for you. And um, that might be also in a, a metaphor for life. Do what works for you. Because when you do what works for you, it not only benefits you, it could be a positive example of others. So now my sister, believe it or not, First of all, my sister does my niece's hair, and her hair is long, thick, and, and beautiful. My daughter's hair is nice and thick and beautiful, and she's going natural now. And, um, and my sister, who, who laughed at me, now is natural. Um, she has beautiful, short, curly, natural hair. Um, she's cut it. Um, it wasn't short before. She cut it. And um, she has discovered that she has some curly hair. For she had this, that thick hair when we were younger as well. And so she didn't, she has discovered that her hair is curly and she can do different things with it. And she became so passionate about um, natural hair that she has created a, a website called the Magical, Magical Brownies, Magical Unicorn Brownies for my niece. And my niece has this long, thick, long hair. And so she really um, is really into natural hair care. So follow your gut, follow your heart, do what's natural. Being natural is natural, and it's a beautiful thing. And I love my natural hair, and I will not perm again. And I'm happy with being natural. So those of you who think about being natural, go for it. Those of you who think about coloring your hair, well, I did it. Have fun. You know, I might even go a little bit lighter if I want to later on. But right now, I'm happy with the color. And I, like I said, I went. I stayed a little bit. You know, I, I did it a little bit longer than. Um, 30 minutes. I'm not telling you to do that. You do what works for you. If that didn't work for me because I was the color wasn't coming out uh, when I did it only 30 minutes. So when I wait, did this, when I did it a little bit longer, I had to stay in for a little bit longer, probably about 45 minutes or an hour, till I actually see color coming out. Actually, it looked a little bit lighter. It was lighter um, when I initially did it. So 
if you would like to see that video or you you know um, have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And you're welcome to visit my website at ebbyslounge.weebly.com. That's ebbyslounge.weebly.com. And I will be doing some different videos that could be on um, self care. It will be on um, just inspirational, all inspirational videos. I'm also a certified birth doula, so I may have some topics on the benefits of breastfeeding or just doulas, what a doula does. Um, and if you have a topic you would like me to share, feel free to let me know. And it's just going to be all about inspiration. Uh, I'm all about women in, um, empowerment, inspiring, and I love the men too who want to inspire us and support us. And so I'm all about uh, inspiration and just lifting up uh, lifting us up as a community and and how I can do that in my own personal way. I believe that we all have gifts, skills, and talents, and we may not be able to help the whole world, but maybe whoever you're supposed to help, just say yes to your purpose or yes to your calling and yes to um, what you're passionate about, and you can help whoever your community is and whoever you're supposed to be helping. Um, so whether it's that's big or small, just do your part and um, and uh, continue to be an inspiration. So thank you so much for watching. Peace and blessings to you and yours. And I wish you and your family much love, joy, peace, success, and prosperity. Peace and blessings, and thank you for watching.